Hey everybody, I wanted to jump on here real quick and do a, uh, a review of, I just got the accelerator and the 12 ounce uh, big bobbin upgrade for my Polywog, which y'all all know is, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if it's my favorite wheel, but it's definitely, I, I love it tremendously. So uh, anyway, here's my official review video. Okay, so first up is the Polywog with the accelerator, which you see here, and this is the, I'm very excited about it, the new Golden Whirl design. So it's a little bit, if you've seen them before, they used to be kind of bigger and wood looking. And so now they're smaller and uh, gold and metal. So this is the Golden Whirl on the accelerator. And um, then also, Mine, you can see up here, is just the uh, regular looking whirl. Even though it does have the Golden Whirl technology, it's just not colored gold. But <clears throat> this one, the part on the new accelerator is. And uh, let's see here, I've got my little... And this is it. Like I said, I will do a thing with the 12-ounce one here in a minute. This is just the bobbin with the 4-ounce. And the treadle action is still really easy like it always was and you can do it with one foot it is definitely a different animal <laughs> with this uh the accelerator on it just because you are dealing with two different bands and, oh i mean seriously it just it spins forever so it'd be so good for lace weight okay yarn. and of course with any spin illusion product it's really easy to uh put together as far as installation goes this screw, basically you take the regular four ounce head and you unbolt it, and then you bolt on the accelerator. You can see it here. So you bolt the accelerator in on the bottom, and then you bolt the four ounce head onto the top, and uh, then you run, it does come with an extra drive band. Uh, your drive band, and you wanna do it from this front notch, not the back notch, because it kinda sticks it out a little bit more. So put your drive band on this front notch, or else it'll make kind of a whirring, rubbing noise. My preferred gears, and y'all know me, if you follow any of my videos, I usually find like one setting I like, and then like that's what I like for the type of yarn I'm making. So I'm not one for messing with lots of different gears. I'm preferring it right now, after much playing around with it, with the, um, the bottom band on kind of the biggest, you know, this one right here in the second. And then this top band obviously works best you know, it's supposed to go on this back one. So you put the short band from the drive head onto the back one. And then, I like I said, for me, I find it easiest to pedal and just most enjoyable on this one. So, uh, and then on the back, like I said, I've got it. I, I don't know, just personally, I never really use the littlest gear on like any of my wheels. And that might just be me. But I like it for thinner yarn on this second one, and if I'm doing bulkier yarn, on the top. So right now, just for demo purposes, I've got it there. And you can see your little lazy cake goes up here on the top. And uh, let's see. I will get this spinning here in a second for y'all to see it in action. All right, so here it is spinning. And this is, uh, I'm using just some dyed merino from a braid. And you see it's really easy to get going. And uh, see the settings I've got it on. But it's it's super smooth, which is why I like the Polywog. It's my favorite wheel to treadle for sure. And uh, with the accelerator and the four ounce head, I feel like it's still really easy to treadle. You'll see in a second with the 12 ounce head, just cause it's, it's a lot bigger. Um, you know, it is a little bit more difficult to kind of get going with the 12 ounce head. But, uh, like, some more on that later. This is just with the accelerator you see here, and then the four ounce head. And, of course, here, just so you can see the whole thing. One thing I love about the Polywog is it does come with the built in lazy Kate. So, this has two more four ounce bobbins. They're just uh, upstairs. But I just, I do, I really like the accelerator on this one. And I think I'm gonna, I'll probably will never use the four ounce head without the accelerator now that I've got it. So. Hope that helps with that. Okay, everybody, I've got my drive band on for the 12 ounce and I located where I'd put the uh, orifice. So it comes with the hook orifice on the 12 ounce, which is my preferred anyway. And then when you put it on without the accelerator, you put the band back on its usual setting on the back. Um, and then the 12 ounce, like I said, one of the big benefits of the Polywog is it comes with a uh, built-in lazy case, so you don't have to buy anything extra. 
So you've got these three pegs that go on the top, and I've got it on the top setting here. Get my same merino. And like I said, this is definitely, I'd never, the biggest, my other wheel's a King B. So the biggest bobbin I'd ever used is a eight ounce. So I really didn't know what to expect with this 12 ounce and it's definitely you know <laughs> it's a more serious it's just more serious to turn like it definitely not that it's not easy to turn like you can see i can get it started all by itself there but it's definitely a more serious <laughs> like you can just tell it's heavier to turn um you know on your feet so you do have to try a little bit harder with the uh the treadling with the 12 ounce um, and so if the little I mean, you see with the Polywug has these little toe treadles. When I'm using just the little four ounce bobbins, I really, I like to sit way far back from it. And I feel like I barely need to even touch it, like I said, with the four ounce ones. With the 12 ounce one, it is a little bit more to pedal. So I find it more comfortable to scoot it up and put more like the pads in my feet up there. And I have, so, uh, you know, it's like I said, it's a little bit harder, I feel like, to get going, but then once you do get it going, <laughs> it's so big, you know, I mean, it definitely, it has great momentum, and I've got this tension needs to be backed up a little bit. It's uh, sucking it in faster than I want it to, but, um, and you see, you can definitely spin really fine on this, or, you know, obviously, you'd have all the room in the world for, you know, bulkier yarns if you wanted to. I don't typically spin, you know, the really, at least at this point in my life, the really big, super chunky ones. I like to do sort of two-ply bulky, so I just needed the extra space on the bobbin. But, I mean, you can see this is so, it's really comfortable, it's really smooth, you can still treadle with one foot. I found it, like I said, just being totally honest, with the accelerator and then this, and I may still give it a try. I may try it again here in a minute. I didn't care for it as much, the treadling with the 12 ounce and the accelerator. So I think I'm definitely going to use them separately, but I know I've heard Ashley, like I said, our main person at the company, she says she likes to use them together because she likes the higher orifice. But I mean, it doesn't bother me at all to have it the height that it is. So that is the Spinolution with the 12 ounce drum. And like I said, I may try it here with the accelerator. Okay, I decided I was going to show you how to do this on the 12 ounce drum anyway. On the official Spinolution video, it shows her stretching this little accelerator band and putting it over this, and it can be done. But I honestly, I felt like it was really tight, and I felt like I was going to break it. So <laughs> I didn't like doing it that way. I prefer threading it, and of course this is being in the way, uh, through the back and bringing it up over like so just be mindful of your tension block you can see i brought it up over the back there and then uh like so just be careful because this is a tight little band but just pull it around that way so that's how like i said i like to do mine a little bit different than how she showed but i bring mine up through the bottom and then you can kind of carefully thread it through here and then pull it over and then let's see you just you can see i've got my accelerator on there and then you just bolt the 12-ounce uh, drum there on the top. Hopefully you can see something besides my shoulder. And you definitely want to make sure everything is really tight. Okay, so here it is. We've got the accelerator and the 12-ounce head on this polywog. And uh, like I said, it, I feel like it's, it is kind of a different animal and my yarn broke, treadling on the 12 ounce head with the accelerator. So just a minute ago, you saw me doing the 12 ounce head just on the wheel. I definitely, it can be done. I mean, as you see it, it's smooth and it, it's easy on doing it, but I definitely, here, and now of course, cause I'm filming, this is not gonna work. Um, it is a little bit more laborious on your feet. I feel like if there is, if the accelerator's on with the 12 ounce head, just because it's a much bigger thing. But, um, you know, it's definitely, it's smooth, it's not wobbly, and it's, it's definitely fun to spin with. So I, like I said, I just got this, so I'm still trying to figure out exactly what all my settings are. It's best, and I was recommended, um, I find it best with the 12-ounce drum. I like the accelerator still on this bigger setting here, 
and then this one, the band from here, always goes on the outside. On the back here, I've got it on the largest setting. Um, I tend to be, oh, and then like with the accelerator, you know, the band goes in this front groove on the uh, polywog wheel. So, um, let's see, I think I need to, the 12 ounce head, I feel like it's got really good uptake, which I came from an Irish tension setting was my first wheel, so I don't mind that so much, but I do find myself backing off on the tension, and, um, I also am a fast treadler, especially on the polywog. Like, if you put me on a four ounce bobbin on the polywog, like, I'm off to the races. So, one thing I did notice going from one to the other um, <laughs> that made me feel like I didn't care for it as much, but then I realized that it was just that I was treadling way too fast. Like, you can see my feet on here. This is on the biggest orifice setting, and it's still, I mean, the rotation and the uptake, I mean, are just great. And my feet, for me, I feel like my feet are going, like, very slow. So, like I said, with the 12-ounce drum on the accelerator, like I said, I feel like it is... You know, it can be a little, like, tough getting it going, but then once you get it going, the momentum from the 12-ounce head, I mean, it's got just phenomenal momentum. And, I mean, for a wheel, look at this thing. This thing is almost as big as the wheel. So, I mean, I just love this little wheel because I just, it's such a workhorse. Like, it's such a workhorse considering its size. And, I mean, just, I mean, you watch me totally take it apart and put it back together. I just, I can't say enough good things about the Polywog. Um, you know, like I said, it just, it's such a good wheel. And like I said, as you see, like I said, just being totally honest, it is a little bit harder to get started, I feel like, with the accelerator and the 12-ounce drum. I didn't find that when it was just the 12-ounce drum on the wheel. But this does give you the additional height, if that's what you prefer. And then it would be easier to, uh, you know, if you wanted to switch out. One thing I want to see, and this will be an experiment for everybody. I wanted to see if the four ounce, <laughs> this might totally not work, but uh, let's see, the four ounce does snap in there. Let's see if I can start spinning on this. No. On. All right, this is a total experiment, you guys, so <laughs> let's see. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, this is good to know. This is literally the first time I've ever tried to do this, and you do need to take it slower. You can put, because it only comes with the one bobbin, so it does function because it's the same width, depth here. You can put your 4-ounce bobbins um, in the head for the 12-ounce. You do still need to treadle slower, but that would be good to know. Like, if you were doing what I do a lot of is I do two-ply yarn, so you could do one ply here, one ply on the other, and then two ply onto the big drum so that you'd have more space. So that's that's excellent. That's exactly what I will probably use it for. So for as funny as that looks, I will probably use my four ounce bobbins that I've got on my 12 ounce head. So that is a fun experiment that you got to witness. <laughs> okay, so final thoughts on the polywog with the upgrades. You like how I'm hanging out here with it. And uh, I didn't magically just get glasses. I've actually been filming this video in parts. <laughs> I had something in my eye. But I love the Polywog. I do think it, it probably is my favorite wheel. I have a King Bee, which I also love for many different reasons. But um, I'm so happy I got the upgrades. I, one thing I do like about the Polywog is um, it, it's so affordable. Like, it, it is very affordable, just the baseline. And I do have, I think, a couple videos <laughs> about how awesome it is just by itself. So that, I think, is the biggest appeal to the Polywog, is it's so versatile, and it's such a great, like, entry-level wheel. Um, you know, where you don't... I mean, I know when I first got into spinning, and I asked, like, some of my friends, like, how much should your wheel cost? And it was, like, as much as a car. <laughs> I was like, I don't have that much money laying around. Because, you know, if you're just starting, like, you don't know if you're going to love it or not. So the Polywog, it's just phenomenal. Like, it's just... it's. It's so cute. Like, everybody loves it, and it's so fun to treadle. It does have these cute little toe treadles, but, I mean, just the ball bearing that it runs on, and, like, all of them, 
And then, like I said, all the polywogs uh, from the first time they came out, they all have like the golden world technology. So they, like they just, and I'm not gonna do it now, you can take the drive band off and just spin it and it will spin and spin and spin, just like free spin forever. So they're great for, um, you know, they're really good for fine weight yarn. Like if I'm gonna do anything fine, like it's my default wheel for that. And then with the reason I wanted to get the big bulky head, was for this big bobbin, and you can see the difference. Um, like I said, I like to do a lot of thicker yarn and two-plied yarn, so this just was a phenomenal upgrade for me. And it is more expensive. I feel like that is kind of the one thing, just keeping it totally real, is like you look at the wheel and you're like, well, the wheel's so affordable, and then the upgrades in comparison to the wheel, it's not that they're like crazy expensive in the realm of spinning wheels, but they're expensive, I feel like, compared to the cost of uh, just the wheel. But they're really, they're, like I said, the head for the 12 ounce upgrade, I mean, it's not like a little dinky thing that snaps on. I mean, it is basically half a spinning wheel. And then the bobbin itself, if you look at what the bobbins cost, like if you just buy a bobbin, I mean, they're not cheap. And I mean, they're all fully finished and, you know, have the magnets in the back. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's all, it's so nice and it's fully finished. You don't have to add anything to it. And so once I got it, I have to say I did feel better about the, the cost on the upgrades once I got them and saw how nice they were. And like I said, the 12 ounce upgrade here, I'll try to put, I mean, it's, it literally, it's half a wheel. And then it's got like the finished metal holes. I mean, it's just, you know, and it's got the place for the Lazy Kate. And then it's got the Golden Whirl, which is why, like I said, it just got upgraded. So that's the 12 ounce head. And this is a four ounce bobbin on there from my experiment I just did. And then the accelerator, I honestly, uh, I didn't really think I would be that excited about the accelerator, but I just love it. And I'm really glad I got it. Um, I ordered both of mine together because you do save the wheels all ship free. So anything that ships with a wheel is free. But since I was ordering the two accessories separately, I did go ahead and I just was like, eh, I'm just going to go ahead and get the accelerator and the 12 ounce drum together. Obviously I'm a dealer. <laughs> so I wanted to have them both for demo. But, um, you know, that's save. You only have to pay the shipping once instead of paying it twice. So I felt like that made it a bit more affordable. Um, the accelerator is so smooth and I really love it. And the accelerator plus just the four ounce bobbin, if you spin like thinner weight yarns, I mean, I couldn't imagine anything you'd want more. I'm sorry, my eyes are so dry today for some reason. Um, the only other wheel I think would be comparable is if you were torn between the Spinolution and the Echo. The Echo is also, the base price is very affordable. So I feel like if you're looking at the Echo versus the Polywog, if you were gonna get the upgrades, you might want, I've heard people be like, well, just go ahead and get an Echo. The Echoes are great. So that will have to be another video for another day. But if you are getting just the Polywog, the base model to start with, and then you like the idea of being able to upgrade like I did, then that's a benefit for the Polywog. The Polywog also comes with the built-in Lazy Kate on both sides. So you don't have to buy that separate. And that was a big bonus for me. And uh, we travel a lot, like I said, with my kids to go see the grandparents and whatever. So the big benefit for me with the Polywog is it's so little. And you see, like, it bolts and unbolts together. And especially if you're just taking the 4 ounce head, this thing, I can literally put it, like, under my two-year-old's feet, like, in the car, <laughs> in the floorboard. So it, it's so easy to take. It's so sturdy. It holds up so well. And so to me, if you want want a wheel that is versatile, that you can do everything from like super fine lace. I mean, the accelerator, that's the fastest, I believe, ratios for spinning wheels like in existence. <laughs> so, I mean, you can't beat that. So if you want to spin thin, get the accelerator. If you are wanting something with a bigger head, then later on you might want to get the 12 ounce upgrade, but I definitely don't think that would be a necessity right off the bat, <laughs> unless you just know that like art yarn's your thing. And then I would definitely get the 12 ounce because yeah, the four ounce bobbins would be limiting with art yarn, with like big art yarn. But I mean, as far as like you do everything from huge to tiny to fast, and then it, it, the wheel itself, like so just since this is so small, it, it fits in the car so well. It fits in the corner of our living room so well. My daughters think it's theirs. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna have to get another one when they're older. As, uh, yeah, my four-year-old already calls this her wheel. She th thought was like, oh, mommy, you just got me upgrades for my wheel. And I'm like, yeah, your wheel. <laughs> so anyhow, enough rambling. Please let me know. Feel free to message me or comment if you have any other questions. And uh, hopefully this video 
helps to give you just a little bit more of a hands-on on actually using the upgrades and putting them together. And that was my honest opinion on it. So I tried to be very honest and non-salesy, but I love it. I, I don't think you can beat it. It's the wheel I would recommend to any and everybody probably over any other wheel. So hope that helps. Bye.